everybody. How y'all doing today on this lovely April the 27th, I think it is. It's uh, Wednesday. And it's friggin' windy still. Last night, my God, that coming home last night, that wind got friggin' nasty as hell heck. And it's a little better today, but not by a heck of a lot. It's minus two right now. And a little overcast. They said we were gonna wake up to snow and rain this morning, but that never happened. Not here. Not yet, anyway. I don't think it's going to happen today. But what are we doing? Well, we did a barn check, checked on the cows, checked on the calves. Had a new one this morning. <coughs> she was in the barn. We had her pulled out and in the barn. Mm, so, nice little uh, heifer calf, black brockle face off a red white face cow. Yelp. And. Now we're off to Mooseman to pick up that trailer that we towed, that B Grain Safe trailer that we towed there last week, Wednesday of last week on them crappy highways. We are on our way to Mooseman to hook up to it and take it up to uh, Watra, Saskatchewan. So, with no more ado, it's bitter batter, let's get at her and get that trailer hauled. Talk to y'all later. Yahoo. Well guys, here we are, Wapella. And yeah, they got some snow here. Everything is white. Like, look at the air piled up. Um, and the farther east you go, the more they got. Mm, so, Yep, they got some snow. I'll be honest, I'm glad we didn't get it. I feel sorry for the cattle guys out here calving. All along this uh, Sask-Manitoba border area. Uh, anybody along that zone where that Colorado low came straight north just got hammered. Like all the way through the states and everything, right? So, but you can see on the the other highway there going westbound lanes. Even on this one, how it's ridged up. It was ridged up, piled up on the sides of the road. That one too. So, Mother Nature, you can't predict what she's going to do. They try to, but at least 60 to 70 percent of the time they're never getting it right anyway mm, so they can give us a rough estimate of what it's going to be like and then you prepare for it right anyway this freaking wind ain't getting any nicer but at least when we go uh back with the trailer we'll be heading west and uh the wind will be a little bit in our tail so that'll be nice talk to you guys later alrighty guys well here we are we're all hooked up she's all locked in safety chains on breakaways on doors are all locked tires are good just checking it over Everything is uh, locked up. That's the way it should be. From what I can see on top, it's all strapped down good. And yeah, look at the snow they got out here. There's friggin' snow banks everywhere. They got hammered. Alrighty, now for the four, four and a half hour drive to watch us. Fun, fun. Let's get her done. We'll catch y'all later. 
Alrighty, guys. Well, we made it here to Watchers. And, uh, my one contact, he wasn't sure where he should put it. So, here we are. And now I'm getting a phone call. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So, if there's anybody out there in, uh, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Alberta, heck, Ontario, this thing's been across, I'm not sure if it's been into BC or not, but if there's anybody out there that's a fire chief or on a fire volunteer, firefighter, or first responder, you guys got to get a hold of CASA, I'll show you here, see this right here, CASA, Canadian Agriculture Safety Association, um, get a hold of them. They're based out of Winnipeg, their office. And uh, then you could put a program on on how to train your your volunteers and your firemen and first responders on how to deal with a grain bin fire or a uh, entrapment where somebody might be trapped inside a grain bin on how to rescue them. So yeah, just uh, get a hold of CASA and uh, set up set up a training session and then this trailer will get delivered out to wherever you want to do it and go from there. It's basically like a one day or a two day type of course is what they generally do. But the trailer's here made it here all in one piece that's nice so we're just gonna work it on hooking here shortly and now we got another pickup to do on our way home so I'm gonna get rocking and rolling here and I'll bring you guys back in a little bit alrighty guys we're here at uh, Thompson Farms Got hooked up to a 40 foot land roller that's got to go to Broadview. We're just west and north of Penzance right now. So it's a right way PCR 6041. Uh, I don't know what year this thing is. I'm thinking it's about an 88 model, 1988. But here she is. And uh, yeah, we're going to drag it on down the highway all the way to Broadview, Saskatchewan. Uh, don't know if we'll actually make it all the way there today. We might just get it back to my place at Capel and then uh, continue the rest of the way tomorrow morning. You're only going to be pulling this thing about 60k an hour topside. And so we got our flags all out on it. Top there, top on the other side, back here. So she's uh, she's used. But hey, it's used, right? And so, and right now, anything used in farm equipment land is crazy priced. So I'm finding out. Anyways, I gotta pull up to the shop and uh, give a piece of paper, a shipping paper copy to the to the farmer here and we'll bring you guys back in a little bit talk to you later alrighty guys well now we're on a detour you can see it back there in the wind in the mirror and why the hell am I detouring because there's road construction in the Lumsden Valley going over top the two bridges that, over there and I'm 15 foot nine wide, 15 foot nine and a quarter to be exact. And I can't remember what it says if it's five meters or 5.1 or 5.2 or 5.3. But even at 5.3 meters, that's like 17 foot three or 17 foot four. So that only gives me about a foot and a half um, of clearance and out here when they say you've got
got 15 foot clearance or five five point let's say 5.3 meters generally speaking it's more like five meters it's not 5.3 meters sometimes it's even less than five meters so so yeah we're taking a fucking 20k detour going straight south on this grid road to the number one highway and then we'll take the Regina Bypass to get around the city and uh, then continue on number one highway all the way home. Keeps me on highway at least, right? But it's going to be a bit of a detour. It's going to be a lot more miles. Like all total, it'll be a total of... Uh, probably close to about 35 40k out of our way but what am I supposed to do you can't get turned around with this thing but once I drop down in that valley and I hit that construction zone if I can't get through we're fucked we can't get we can't turn around or nothing so this is the best option in my eyes anyway I'm gonna let you guys go We'll talk to y'all later. Mocha dogs. Mocha dogs. Mocha dogs. Mocha dogs. Yes, I'm home. We are home, guys. We is home. And there's that right way, 40 footer. Yeah. We made it. We got it off the highway. Literally, like. I was actually about five minutes past my limit for getting it off the highway. And then we just took the grid to get home. Uh, and we'll deliver the rest of the way tomorrow. Probably another, probably close to three hours on the road tomorrow. But farmer doesn't want it in his yard. He won't be home in the morning. So we'll be leaving here about one o'clock and deliver for four o'clock. Yeah, oh my god, it's been a long day. So we're just going to go down, check on the Moo Moos, see how they're doing. Look at the friggin' water in the growl there. Yeah. But that's the horse crown. They've got a little hill in their crowl. Actual dirt hill excuse me so they're okay they got dry ground yesterday in that nasty ugly wind CP was pumping that she got a bunch of water out of there heifers still have hay these cows still have green feed bulls should still have some green feed and that's just a sloppy mess right there in front of that bin find out what's happening in here and this little fart only wants to suck on the one side on this cow he's not sucking on this side and she's got a big titty back there a couple of them so I'm gonna have to get him going on the other side the little bastard okay I'm gonna bring you guys back in a little bit righty now that we got through the door and got back here What are you doing, old girl? I've been waiting for this one to calve for a while. And she might go another couple days yet. Those two I know will go for a couple days. And that red one, yeah, them two there. 
And this red white face, she's the one that calved this morning. She had the black brockle face calf. And there it is. Hi. How are you today? Tonight. Nice size calf. That's what I like to see is like that. Not this scrawny, puny little peep squeaks that these other two cows had. Anyway, guys, that's enough of me chit-chattering. Tomorrow's another day, so fun, fun, fun. Let's get her done. And catch you all later.